right, what's up guys? It's early Sunday morning. I was gonna make a video from my house today just talking real quick about the response to Amber's uh, videos, but I, I, I figured you guys would rather uh, see Kensington than my own hideous face. So I, I drove down here real quick. I'm gonna do a quick lap and then I have to uh, do stuff. But I wanted to talk about the reactions to Amber's um, videos. Uh, I, I, it blows my mind how awesome most of you are I mean it's obvious this girl has messed up more times than all of us can count on our hands and all that and yet the good amount of people in the comment sections are still unconditionally supporting her even through all the fuck ups which is you know it's hard to do but it's you know unfortunately that's kind of how you have to uh, you know live or deal with addicts when they're in um active addiction it's you know it's it's hard but i mean the response has been amazing uh it it, it blows my mind really uh just you know the few mean people but you know we're gonna get that no matter what and uh even the mean people still comment and uh, you know it, it helps the youtube algorithm but i, I mean i hate reading the stuff so like i'm torn uh you know just delete it and, and move on but now I'm gonna leave them up so you guys can see how mean some of these comments are um, you know I'm driving around right now see what's going on it's really quiet down here this morning it's uh, 8 30 right now <clears throat> uh, two three weeks ago I started this and it's it kind of blew up pretty fast uh, I, I didn't really expect this this is all like a weird for me. See there, the fire department is checking. There's someone down there. there. You know, you know, with the uh, cold weather, checks like that are gonna have to start happening a lot more and you know without deadly fat and all this <clears throat> so I'm just gonna do a real quick uh, loop so you guys can see Sunday morning and then I am uh, I got uh, stuff I gotta do with the family so See if I could uh, interview someone real quick when I'm down here too. Though who knows? We'll see. We'll see what happens. But Sundays it's usually pretty messy down here. They don't. Uh, there's no cleaning that goes on. And there there should be a couple charity uh, meals today. I would assume. Too sure though. <clears throat> the amount of different, you know, places around the world that are checking in to say that they support Amber, that was wild. I, I was telling her, I told her a little bit on air, you saw that, but then I went, you know, when we were we were sitting there, I was telling her all the different countries, and you know, she genuinely sounded amazed about it surprised so you know you guys are you know you guys made her smile so that was, that's good it's uh it's supposed to rain uh, pretty heavy all day today in about an hour or so so, it, that, that's when it gets really shitty down here, when it's, it's going to be 50 degrees and raining, 40-something degrees and raining.
that guy stays rolling up and down this uh, avenue and he's going 30 miles an hour the whole time too it seems like has like a ghost town vibe Sunday mornings down here. I uh, didn't see Amber back at Clearfield. Uh, I just, you know, I'm not even, I wasn't even planning on talking or anything today. Uh, I just looked over, I didn't see her. And if they're not there, then they're usually down at this end they're trying to get some money. We'll see. Uh, I want to do an interview real quick today, but I gotta find some someone new, different. I want to find a guy to interview. Um, but I also gotta find one that you know has is kind of mentally sound and uh, can engage in a conversation. The couple I talked to, or the, 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 I found two good ones. They just don't want to be on uh, camera, and a lot of them are just, you know, suffering from severe mental illness. And I, I really don't want to uh, film that, and put it out. I was thinking even the the haters that you know of Amber they, they're still helping out because they're watching the videos and all that and you know it, it's just keeping her name and the, the addicts names out there and you know I think it's a good thing because if, if we're not then no one's doing it then they're just forgotten oh and another thing is with I did my recovery different than a lot of people I, I did not this time around I, I finally did not try the 12 steps it's just not for me it doesn't work for me I'm not a religious person and it, it tends to be a religious program but I understand it works a lot for people so you know I don't criticize it too much of people you know if it works I tell them to go do it so I, I got my medical marijuana card about five years ago I, I used that for you know any type of emergency or if I have problems with my insomnia because I, I, I refuse to take any type of pharmaceutical drug that is addicting anymore uh, unless it's an absolute necessary I will not take it, any of that stuff anymore and the, the, the medical marijuana card it's been a lifesaver for me it's, it really has with sleeping and all that That's not, not for everyone either. You know, some people will stay on. My is, uh, I think this is year 12. He takes a, I think it's a milligram a sub a day. And I tell him to stay on it the rest of his life if he needs to. Just, you know, he's a, had a really successful life and he's living a good life. So I said, what, what's the point of uh, risking getting off it right now? So it, it the what's it called the medically 
assisted treatments. I think that's what it's called, Matt. I mean, they work. It's That's one of the criticisms I have of the 12 steps is they want 100% abstinence in it. That's not... Um, it's not really uh, good for a lot of people. You know, a lot of people did a lot of damage with opiates, and it, you know, it's especially with fentanyl. It's good to have a clutch now because you know, one screw up and you're dead. So, in my opinion, methadone, suboxone, medical marijuana, any of that stuff, if you need it to stay off of opiates, do it, and don't let anybody tell you different. that 100% abstinence is great but you know except with the, you know like like I said one one little slip up with fat and all and you're dead just one time gone so it's not worth it all right um I think it's gonna be it I will uh talk to you guys later thanks again for all the support for Amber it's so cool to see that let's hope we can uh we can post videos of her sober and living her best life at some point, along with all these other people down here struggling. So I'm gonna start, you know, interviewing different people. I just, she was the first interview and everyone jumped down my throat cause of it, but it worked, so I'm glad. All right, bye. It's raining down here now. I was gonna leave earlier, but, um. I just, I don't know if you saw the, the post I made. I, I ran into Amber when I was filming this. And, uh, like, out of the blue, she just looks at me. So she's like, can you really get me a, a bed and detox? She's like, I want to get the fuck out of here. Uh, I, I just, I did not expect that. But she wants to leave Philly. So um, I'm going to start working on it. It's going to take a little bit to, to get to bed. I have a, a friend of mine who... Um, works really uh, closely in the um, in the detox rehab uh, space. He has a his own uh, recovery house and all. He's one of the best dudes in the world, but he's he is uh, starting to do the um, paperwork and all that stuff so he can figure it out. Now, I don't know, guys, you, I don't know. I said this a million times. Uh, I'm ready to go, and I almost always you know, never went. <laughs> so, but who knows? It, this could be her, her one. She, she genuinely sounded tired and, and fed up. She just looked at me and she's like, I'm tired of this shit. So we'll see, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start working on it and, you know, hopefully, so shit, if these fucking videos work, then she goes to rehab, man. It's all worth it. And, uh, I want everyone of you mean people to say sorry in the comments as she goes. And I also hope you guys stub your toe when you go to the bathroom tonight. All right, you guys, have a good uh, rest of your Sunday. I will talk to you soon. I will keep you updated with what's going on with our friend Amber. So I got Amber here reading all your guys' comments. She's going through all the good ones and the mean ones too, but well, I don't care about the mean ones because what you, what you guys say is not true. That's right. And uh, you appreciate the, the nice ones? I really do. All right. Because that's why I came all the way down here again real quick just to just so you could, you know, so I could see you and you could uh, say thank you to the people again. Thank you again. All right. Uh, you saw Canada, England, Australia, all New Zealand. Over. It's crazy. Yes. All right. All right. Have a good day.